Hi, in this video we're going to show you an easy way to add tables and also buttons to a Gmail email. So we're going to be using an extension called Gmail Tables by CloudHQ. So CloudHQ, they have a lot of Gmail and Chrome extensions. And if you sign up for an account, you can manage all of your apps all in one place. So it's kind of a cool feature. And most of them are free too. So this should work for Edge as well, by the way. So once you install it, just like any other extension, and you go to your email, when you go to Compose, you'll have an option down here. I'm recording at a low resolution, so I got to do my little extra button here. So it looks like this little insert button table here. So you click on that. Let's do the button first. So you could make a button for whatever, like for example. And if you want to change, you know, the color, border color, text color, border size, border radius, and so on. And then you just insert into email. Let's do a test here. Send it off to Cindy. Okay, let's go over to Cindy's email and see how it looks. All right, here we go. So it just shows up as a button and you click on it. And it takes you to the address you put in the button. Okay, so let's go back over here. Now let's try it again. This time we'll do a table. All right, so you could pick your rows and columns from here. So let's say let's do a five by five. And you can set the spacing, the padding, the border size, the width. If you want to add a header, you could check this box here. Header background, you could change the color. Let's say we want like a red. You could add a column header. I'll leave that. I'll click on OK. Then you could just add the information. And then you notice that the table will increase in size as you type. And if you hit enter, it'll go down another line there too. And of course, while you're here, you could click on edit as well and change stuff around here. Let's say that red was too dark. like that. And let's send this off to Cindy again here. See how it looks, even though it's not a fancy table, but you get the idea. All right, let's go check it over on her end. So there it is. So you can see they can't, they could highlight it, but they can't change the information in it like that. All right, so as you can see, it's a real easy way to create some custom buttons and tables in your email. Then you could just send it off rather than having to do something like, you know, copy and paste from a spreadsheet uh, or that type of thing. And obviously my example wasn't the greatest, but you can make some nice looking tables if you put a little work into it. All right, so I will put a link in the description where you could download it. Then you can just install the extension in your browser. And then, of course, you know, if you don't want it, you could come back up to your extensions, find it in the list and then remove it or go to manage and remove it from there as well. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.